It's been a difficult last couple of years. It's actually been almost 21 months since the board of directors of Exim Bank has met. Since our reauthorization in December of 2015, we've been able to do smaller transactions up to $10 million. Uh, but uh, it is uh, frustrating and disappointing that we are still in this, in this situation. When I was appointed uh, acting chairman on January 18th, uh, my feeling was that uh, we should be forward leaning with the new administration to make our case. And we have done that. We have met with a number of senior members of the administration as well as continue to meet with members of Congress and senators uh, to put forward the, the case for Exim Bank. Uh, I expect that at some point in the not too distant future, President Trump will make nominations. I don't have a hard timeline though. No one in the administration has told me when uh, to expect that, but I think we need to be uh, we need to recognize that there are a lot of senior positions in the administration that remain to be filled. And while I'm very impatient to see that Exim Bank's board be back up and running, uh, we know, we recognize that the president has a lot of these decisions to make. It's very clear that there are very senior members of the administration who are uh, positively disposed toward Exim Bank and its mission. Um, but I think it's also clear that there are people in the administration who are more skeptical about the bank and its, and its mission. Those discussions uh, clearly have been ongoing. Uh, the fact that no nominations have emerged yet is probably an indication that they're continuing. What they can do is get the ball rolling by sending a slate of nominees to the Senate Banking Committee. Uh, which would be a good first step. There are a whole range of things that could be uh, looked at in terms of the way the, the bank is structured and, and the programs that we, that we manage. I would point out though that in the last two reauthorizations, both in 2012 and 2015, Congress imposed in each case 18 or 20 uh, quote reforms on the bank, uh, all of which have been addressed by the bank. So we, we in both cases, in, in 2012 and 2015, we in fact implemented a range of changes to the way the bank does business, the way the bank is structured, and uh, that's, that should be an ongoing process.